How's it hanging, fellow Samoros? And this is another episode of Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy. And in today's episode, well, we got kicked out in the middle of nowhere. And by middle of nowhere, I mean Red County. A huge piece of shit of a place, to be honest. There's like nothing in here. That's my biggest issue. If I want to take care of something by a gun, I gotta go all the way here. Actually, no, there is a gun store. There's no clothes stores. And to me, that's as important as a gun store. Yeah, you could tell maybe by my fucking pimping outfit. Badlands. Badlands free. I got this fucking mango flavored burn drink. Gotta fucking drink something. I found out they opened up a uh, new store recently next to where I live. They closed the. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Check it out, there's a chopper over there. They're, they're fucking teaching me how to use a car. Oh my god, it's the same one I had. That's the, that's the fucking my bike. That I had a couple of episodes ago, remember? I was complaining how it disappeared and then it reappeared out of nowhere and now it reappeared again. I like to think it's the same one. So I got it back. You might be curious how did I got it in the first place. Well, I stole it. How else do you acquire vehicles in this game? Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, they opened up a new store and has like this fucking huge wall of energy drinks. So I guess I ain't running out of new energy drinks to drink. And if I do, then I'll just fucking, I don't know, just drink the same one over and over. The best one out of all of them. This, I fucking, I don't know, how long have I been doing this? Two years at this point? No, not two years. No, I think it was two years actually, when I started like drinking energy drinks during my let's plays. And just giving you reviews of those energy drinks. And so far, the best energy drink. Well, there have been a couple of good ones. This one is actually pretty good. The burn mango flavored. But I still think the best energy drinks are the default monster energy drink. And the pink monster energy drink. I don't know what it's called. But those are the best. I fucking... I was I was starting today a fucking what the fuck was it spacecrafts like um a board system what the fuck was it called LAS launch abort system uh, I was fucking studying that today for some reason I was like sitting at school and I was like thinking what the fuck did I sign up for MIT or some shit why the fuck am I starting fucking Space stuff all of a sudden. Or fucking spaceships and the fucking systems and shit. I don't have guns. Ah, oh, that sucks. What, what the fuck? I don't have guns? But there's fucking FIB. Which I actually believe in the original version it's called FBI. Because they haven't came up with F FIB yet, so it was actually FBI. Maybe that's the biggest difference of the 3D universe and the HD universe. The fact that FIB didn't exist and it's actually just FBI. And you know what's interesting? With the new like update to Grand Theft Auto Online, they actually made Franklin reference a lot of the events from San Andreas. And people were speculating maybe 3D Universe and the HD Universe aren't as separate as we thought. But in that case, what the fuck happened to growth three families in between San Andreas and and five, because Grove Street is pretty much fucking absent, and the only gang we interact with is fucking Ballas. They re retook all of Los Santos, unless you taking over all of Los Santos isn't canonical, which could be the case. How do I take a picture of that motherfucker? A lot of people always talked about that shed, and on YouTube back in the day when this game was like DGTA at the time. And I'll, people always said stuff like that this is this place is haunted, but you know there's a lot of like rumors and different stuff like that in GTA community always happening. I don't think it's true that the HD. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Sneak up on them? They have like patrol routes and shit. What the fuck else was, I was gonna tell you? Oh, I bought a Cluck and Bell shirt. I found a Cluck and Bell shirt. Only, it's pretty pretty good. 
pretty cool looking and a pretty good quality but the issue i have with it is that it's oh i can take it from the window that's him i guess that's a good enough picture right no it's not i guess the issue with that is uh, that shirt is that i bought it in orange color so the taste the cock underneath it i can see him Am I supposed to kill him or, like, what the fuck am I meant to do? Should I have picked up a weapon and I just kind of missed, missed it? I think I can sneak in. They got guns, don't they? They are carrying Uzi's fuck. What do I do? Uh oh. Get the fuck in, CJ. It's right there. Maybe I can. I got actually kind of spooked. I wasn't sure how quick they will react to this. He was like slowly approaching me, and all of a sudden he freaked the fuck out. Well, the snitch is getting away. Ah, hell. Back on my bike. If I fucking survive this. How the fuck do they want me to kill him? I have no money on me. I mean, I have 3,000. I guess that's good enough to buy a fucking Uzi. Yeah, I really gotta buy a Uzi. Hope they will reset this mission, because I feel like I already messed it up. Yeah, I was supposed to record this yesterday, but I didn't felt like it. And I had a bunch of assignments to do, and I, like always, did them at the very last moment. But for some reason, like, when it's like, I don't know, late, and I know I have, like, assignments for tomorrow, I just feel the most fucking... depressed. Not depressed, desperate. I'm depressed all the time, but, like, desperate, so I finally fucking be like... I finally go like, alright, I gotta fucking do this, or else I'll fucking die they'll kick me out of school or some shit and I don't know nothing really else interesting I just haven't done schoolwork in a long fucking time like homework what the fuck it's like last year it was pretty much non-stop like fucking homework got him to fall over he's still alive though Look, he's still trying to go his usual route, is he? Yeah, he's trying to go back to the route that he was on before I kind of ruined it for him. Oh, fuck, I guess. Wait. Get out of the car. Oh, come on, I got him. I fucking had him. I'll look more bikes. Where is he? Why is he going ba oh Jesus, why is he going back on the mountain? Why is he going back the other way now? What the fuck is he doing? Look, he went back just to turn around. He really fucking had to pass like some kind of artificial goal right there. You know how you do races and you have to pass through goals? It feels like his AI also had to pass through that goal or else he'll not be able to go further, Jesus Christ. Like really, you knock him off a- what the fuck? The fuck happened? You knock him off a mountain, fucking... What am I meant to do now? I wish I could just, like, quit this mission, but like, if I wanna quit it, I gotta, like, kill myself, and then I'll lose a bunch of shit. What should I do? I got no guns to deal damage to his car now, I just gotta bash into it enough times. Something weird going on with this game, like I jumped for no reason, I think I just like straight up drove through some kind of, of physics. Not physics, like environment. It's really dark. It's all because of this fucking contrast I changed. 
I can like mess him up and get him to fall off stuff, but like it doesn't matter because I can't fucking take him out of the car and beat the shit out of him. If I could, I would already be done with this and I'd be like, oh, that's pretty nice. I fucking pulled it off without having to use any guns. Am I not fucking clever? Yeah. Except I'm not. If I was clever, I'd be done with this already. Remember my original Let's Play of San Andreas? There was this one mission where you had to kill Torino? And Jesus Christ, was that mission fucking annoying. I hated that mission. I don't know if this game will have it any easier. If I get my hands on an RPG somehow, which might be a little harder than you think. Whoa, shit, shit. Also, did I did a bike school in my original Let's Play? Where is he going? I hope at some point he like stops and like I can actually take him out of the car and beat the shit out of him. He's starting to piss me off. Is he gonna go to the left? He's not going to the left. He's just kind of. I bet he has like a track he follows. Oh wait! Motherfucker killed himself. I killed myself too. Jesus Christ! What a fucking dangerous road. I don't think I ever been to this part. With my bike. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> Come back. Wanna get slept, bitch? Oh. I finally did it. I'm starting to get worried a bit. Look, and we are almost in San Fierro already. I'll give this game that. At least it shows me a route to take whenever I'm like far away from places. So now I know which route will help me in GT3, that's very helpful because uh, there's a there's like a tunnel system in GT3 and I don't really remember it by memory so sometimes sometimes it's more worth taking a tunnel to a place especially during one of the missions it's more worth taking a tunnel than taking the bridge but the bridge is like you know that there's a bridge and you can go to the airport by a bridge but the bridge is occupied by like snipers what the fuck was that? A purple light? I don't know where. Does this game have that? There's like lights just for no reason on the ground. This game's a pile of shit. I don't know if I mentioned that to you. Bike is smoking. So miles this car. Well, I thought he fell into the water. Oh, is he pissed off? I think he's pissed off. Better get the fuck out of here. I don't know what else to tell you, I didn't... Oh yeah, I edited my LEGO Batman Let's Play. And it's coming along pretty well, it looks pretty decent. But I also edited my VVVVV Let's Play. And that one for some reason looks a bit ugly, and I think it's due to the graphics in the game. Like, I recorded the game at 720p. And then when I rendered it in 1080p... No, I actually didn't render... No, I did rendered it in 1080p. The game, like, upscaled itself and it kind of looks worse now. So I'm like, oh shit, that kind of sucks. Sucks a lot, to be honest. Alright, I gotta go buy guns. That's important. Look, I actually managed to do the objective in probably the shittiest way possible, but I don't give a fuck. And keep my bike. Like, I know what you thought. Like, why the fuck did I took a chopper? I, I should have taken the fucking cross bike. I don't know, the choppers just were cooler. I'm gonna look up what this bike was based on, and I'm, I'm gonna buy it one day. In that same color, and I'm gonna claim it that this bike came out of San Andreas and into real life, and now I have it. See this logo? I got a shirt for it. I haven't worn it yet. And I've been dressing up in white recently. For no particular reason, just because I like that color. It's a nice color. Your sister's been worried. I heard some shit went down. Yeah, Los Santos is dangerous right now. I'm out in the middle of, I don't know, what, Whetstone or whatever that Flint is. Flint County. I don't know Whetstone too well. I got some family out there, I think. But at least you ain't in jail. I think. It's fucked up with your brother, is it? You be careful and look out. I'll be honest with you, I don't really don't know, like, my me, far family. It's something I've never really woman. been I got some backup too much my cousin, invested in. Really intense, almost, trust me. I don't know, like, my nearest Steiner fucking Dilly family, like, my aunts, my uncles. I don't know my cousins. I mean, I know them, but, like... I don't know, I've seen him like twice in my life. 
some aunts that like remember me from when I was a child, and if I met them now, I'd probably be like, "Who the fuck are you?" Veggie wings may contain meat. Nice. Get out. May I further degrade myself, sir? You may be asking, why did I bought a clock and bow shirt and not a burger shot shirt? Uh, well, they did had burger shot shirts and clock and bell. I feel it's like a little more iconic from Grand Theft Auto. That's the restaurant where. See, with extra dip, I got an achievement called with extra dip. Nice. Getting achievements. Last time I didn't get any because I was cheating and then disabled the achievements. I think that's kind of dumb. Like, come on, fucking, who cares? Carl, what's me? Sweet, what's going on, man? And what the fuck you think is going on? I'm in the prison hospital, nigga. I know. You all right? Hell nah. You gotta do something. Man. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm fine. Sorry, man, I just gotta make sure Kendall's safe first. Got an asshole gonna the gonna size go. of a fist. Don't worry, bro. I ain't gonna leave you in there. Don't worry, bro. I wanna see. How much does this house over here goes for? Not that I really want to buy it, because it's kind of fucking pointless. Twenty fucking thousand. This house is more expensive than... And the house is in, in the middle of the... Well, they were in the middle of a ghetto, I guess. No, actually, the, the house I bought... Uh, where is it? This one. Look, it's in, like, the middle of the... The rich area of Los Santos and only cost the ten thousand. So I wonder what the fuck that's about. You know what I was always curious, like we heard from Young Melee, you know, like we heard from him since the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas release, right? And we heard stuff like, oh, he hates Rockstar now. Because now Rockstar is kind of a piece of shit, not like oh, not cool like they the used to. Alright, first of all, I need armor. Armor is pretty cheap, <clears throat> so at least there's that. But the thing is... Do I have more armor than I did last time? Tech 9. Best weapon in the Wise game. Choice, sir. Wise choice. And... Works a lot of ammo. Well, you need a lot yeah. of ammo Perfect for SMGs. And simple. You know, look, this guy's model kind of looks better than it did in the original. He looks like a human Wars being. Coming, you hear? Like, his hands are so messed up, and I don't know what the fuck is going on with the f echo inside of buildings in this fucking game. But it looks good. I hope they didn't took my bike away. Where did it stood? I think I parked it next to Clock and Bill. Well, it's gone. Somebody took it. Or maybe I parked it next to my safe house. Maybe another one spawned? Nah, I think my chopper's gone. My cross bike is gone too. How do they expect me to get anywhere now? What the fuck? Where the flying fuck? Where is this? Planks of wood? I thought something was glitching out. Stop, sir, I need your bike, if I can't find mine. Alright, now how the fuck do we make our... I know I missed the chopper, but whatever. I don't care that much to be fucking swapping cars around now. That's another thing I really hate about this fucking place. Like, you gotta constantly fucking drive... ...back and forward between these two fucking really far away from each other locations. Like, what the fuck's the point? Just make fucking Catalina spawn in this town. Or make me fucking be exiled into the the other fucking area. I love how this house pops in. It always does that. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, that was a quad bike. How about I do that silly glitch? That silly glitch doesn't work anymore. I checked it. I think this is where the bridge glitch is, though. There's like a path on the map, but there's like water over it. I don't know if that was supposed to be like that. Now the bridge is... Oh, we're about to cross it. They fixed it, so the bridge actually doesn't disappear anymore. I still hate how the trees in this game look. And that's something that it was in the original, too. See these trees? Like, why are they at a fucking angle? That's not how fucking trees grow. They don't grow... Like... Perpendicularly to the fucking ground that they grow on. They grow upwards. 
So they reach more sunlight, you fucking dumbasses. Since when do fucking trees grow like this? Look at this. You're looking at this and there's like, you know something's fucking wrong with these fucking trees. What the hell? Blood on the fucking road, it's like a crashed car. Place is fucked up. There's probably murders in the fucking forest too, and a, and a Bigfoot. You know what I was thinking, it would be kinda cool if they added a Bigfoot in this game. What the fuck, Jesus Christ. I thought I was fucking driving like a fucking maniac. Also, you know what? They removed the fucking suicidal photographer from this game too. Because they spawned right over here. There was like, in the original version, there was like a photographer. A random NPC with a... What's that? No, oh, nothing. Random NPC with a camera would spawn in this area. They would take a picture and then they would walk into water and drown themselves. And... I believe... It's because there was supposed to be a bridge over there, but they didn't add it to bridge to the game so the NPC was supposed to take a photo of the bridge and then walk over it but then that's a really weird script no I don't really think there's anywhere else in the game where there's like scripts like that like an area you arrive in and there's like an NPC a random NPC spawned in that always does the same thing because it's not like a one-time thing and even if it was a one-time thing it would be even weirder because there's no other like ra one-time random things so maybe it really was supposed to be a suicidal photographer taking their last shot and drowning themselves. Last picture of the place where they killed themselves in. Unless you guys can recall some, some kind of like... event that happens when you approach it multiple times. So I sure can't. I don't know why this game keeps fucking changing the camera angle. Carolina looks pretty good. She cut that guy. Nothing. I'm looking for a friend of mine's cousin, Mexican guy. He ain't here. You? But Cesar said you was a real man. Well, because I'm dressed good, I'm not a real man. Whatever, asshole. Let's go. Damn, relax, baby. I know what you're thinking. How does Claude look like in this game since he makes a cameo? I got a bike. Whoa, so much money. Thanks, officer. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Caesar. Appreciate this, Oh, she's holding me. What's your name? Where we going? My name is Catalina. She's tickling me. Okay, good plan, I guess. You're damn straight, it's a good plan. I've kissed four Catalina is one of the most fucking annoying characters in video games fucking ever. A gas station in Dillimore. And a betting shop in Montgomery. Which Montgomery. You're the driver, you dumb pig. You choose. Well, this one's fucking right next to me, so I why not? Max Payne. Bulletproof glass. So you can just fuck off. From bitch, the Max Payne Bulletproof Glass Company. What are you doing, son? Just give her the cash. Suit yourself, maricon. Change of plan, girl. We're taking the tanker. This hey, one sucks. What you doing? The tanker is fucking annoying. Taking the fucking tanker. What the fuck are we taking it for? Also, why do American tracks look this fucking huge? Like, what the fuck does they got these fucking insanely looking fucking fronts for? I ain't losing another crappy job because of some crazy bitch. Come and again, on, it guys, seems like a style in America to have huge fronts and vehicles. I mean, look at their, this muscle car. You know my guy who buys gas tanks? This fucking big? You can do mini game, actually, side missions uh, for that guy. I don't think I ever did them, so maybe I'll do them. Maybe... Maybe once I'm done with this one, I'll attempt it and I'll see if it's actually fucking fun. Or worth doing. I believe it isn't. I don't know why they're so determined to stop me. This guy doesn't want to lose his job, but I don't really think if he would give up a huge tank just to save his life. Actually, maybe he would be fired. I don't know. Is it one of his fucking... Whoa. There we go. Delivered. 
What do you mean? I delivered it. It's right fucking here, delivered professionally. Couldn't have done a better delivery if I fucking was an actually delivery driver or an actual trucker. Whose idea was that this is a fun quest? Stop fucking trying to pass me, don't you see I'm attempting to fucking grab this? What the fuck? There we go. I ain't losing another crappy job because of some crazy bitch. Drive! I know Hold my girlfriend a crazy bitch? Well, you're right. She's not my girlfriend. She's my side piece. Not even that. I'm her side piece. Fucking stop bumping into me. This fucking tank has such shitty physics. American Truck Simulator. I played truck like, but uh, what the fuck was it? It was like a trucker simulator, but I'm not sh sure which one it was. I really don't really see, see the appeal. I do see the appeal of a trucker. I I kind of thought my dad used to work at like a gas station at some point, and it also it was like a big stop stop for truckers. So as a kid. I would often like visit him at work and I would just like talk to all the truckers and shit. And they would like invite me to their fucking trucks and I would just sit them with them in those trucks. Wow, Jesus Christ, I don't remember that. Hello, Mr. Whitaker. Catalina, what I'm pretty sure today? last time I did this, this a didn't happen. Tanker, full to the brim with premium gas. Never seen it, never saw you, never gave you this water cash. Nice not doing business. Likewise. Now get out of here before the cops come snooping. If you ever want to run some freight for me, just drop in. I've always got shit to move. I always got shit to move. Goodbye. Fuck you two. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Trucks. And I was like, I kind of see the appeal of being a trucker. Like, you're on your own, driving across the country or even a fucking continent, delivering fucking shit. Sounds, sounds kind of a pee. What the fuck's this? Oh, I found a cane. Citizen cane. What the fuck? Yeah. Carl. Who was this? You know me. This is the truth. No, I don't. I looked at gas station as on fire. They said you were a moron. Who? Okay, you can drop the act now, kid. You the police? No. We have a mutual friend and business partner. Oh, look, they're here. Who? Yes. Have you killed any cops lately? Oh man, ten penny. I should have known. That asshole. So I've got a room at a motel in Angel Pine. Make sure nobody follows you. I gotta test my cane. I blame society. And CJ uses it like a sword. It's just a reskin of Katana, is it? This guy's such a nice guy. I'm beating the shit out of him, and he seems immortal, by the way. Since I have two immortal sp sparing partners, I'm gonna show you that I didn't just eh, like went to the gym. I forgot to tell you. I also learned like new fighting moves. This guy has a gun though. Yeah, so CJ does like cool combos, but he only does them if you. He only does them if you. You know, fucking lock onto target. If you don't, then he'll just do his usual punches. Throw them like a bitch. They're immortal, don't worry about them. Let's do this one. I never did this before. I, I think it's just not worth it and it kind of sucks. Oh, look, it's the same rig. I gotta deliver this quickly to Red County, east of San Andreas. Actually, maybe I did this before. Why don't I have a marker? Like... Why don't they have a route? Where the fuck they want me to deliver this shit? Oh, over there. So I don't even need it, I'm just like gonna fucking take a straight road right there. Kinda hate how far away I'm from any save point I am. Actually, I think Catalina has a save point next to her safe house. But I'm not sure if her missions are now accessible by going to her safe house. They should be, 
but I'm not 100% sure about that. That's what I dislike about this mission too. The fact that I just for some reason... No, I never did this. I'm pretty sure I don't recall ever fucking delivering anything. Wow, I got a thousand bucks. This fucking sucks. I got a thousand bucks, but I'm, now I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. There's no safe points around. There's a safe house, but I can't fucking afford it. How much money do I have? Seven thousand. If I had ten thousand, I could have hoped that maybe I can afford it. You fucking asshole. There is no Russian Mafia in this fucking game. Is there? The Russian Mafia is a big part of the fourth game, right? They definitely are. I think they're one of the main villains, actually. But... The San Andreas had Russian Mafia in it? Oh yeah, there was a Russian Mafia. Smoke was doing some weird deals, like he was attacking them for some reason? I still don't really get what the fuck he did that for, like... What did he gain from that? Knowing that he's a traitor, did he, like, gain some kind of... Anything from that? He just for some reason attacked Russian mobsters, and then we had a big chase scene on a bike. But like, what the fuck was the end, end goal of this? What have we gained? Anything? Is there a fucking... Oh, never mind. Can I ask where is there a wall in the middle of the nowhere? Why are the bushes growing out of the fucking asphalt? Asphalt. Why are there planes flying so low? Why do we have so many questions? <clears throat> Why does this game suck? That's the best question. I would record... Oh shit. I would record like three episodes in a row of this game. If it wasn't for the fact that I gotta record one episode of Sleeping Dogs. And I also have the medium which I also wanted to make a video about real quick. Where the fuck am I going? Why am I so far away from where I need to go? I just wanna go home. I wanna go to sleep. Oh yeah, I was telling you about the Let's Plays I've been editing. And uh, something I noticed is that when I was looking through my old Let's Plays... I mean Let's Plays, not even old Let's Plays. I was looking through my Let's Plays that I edited and recorded a long time ago, but I still haven't like made commentary so for. And one of them is Raymond 1. And I looked through the files of Raymond 1. What the fuck's happening? What? What's with the lighting in that place, and what the fuck was that bike in the middle of nothing? Just laying on its side. What is happening with these towers? Why is this game so fucking terrible? Jesus Christ. What is what happening with the sky? Am I in the fucking nether realm? When did you ever see sky look this demonic? What the fuck? Yeah, and... I noticed one episode was an hour 50 fucking minutes long. And I was like, what the fuck kind of a Raymond episode is this where it's an hour and fucking 50 minutes long? But what it turns out happened is I, I accidentally rendered that episode. It was episode 7, and then episode 8 and 9 too. So it was like 3 episodes as episode 7, so I kind of fucked that up. So yeah, the actual episode is only 20 minutes long. But I think there is an hour long episode of Raymond and it genuinely took me an hour to beat it. You can see the rain effects are a little bit improved, right? But they still fucking overlap with water. Not to mention puddles of water do some weird shit right now. Not to mention what the fuck is happening with the sky. Why does it look like that? It looks like a brown piece of fucking shit. It looks like urban camo or something. Not urban. Fall camo, I don't know. See you fellas in the next episode, bye.